Do you love Google Classroom? How about the rubrics? You can make rubrics so much faster for Google Classroom. I've created an add-on, GC Rubric, that's gonna make this so much faster and better, and you can share your rubrics a lot easier. Hi, I'm Alice Keeler, and I am the co-author of the book, Stepping Up to Google Classroom. I love to use Google Classroom, and I have a lot of tips in this book for how you can get the most out of Google Classroom, but I also code. I'm a Google developer expert, and I've created some add-ons that are gonna help you to go even further with Google Classroom. GC Rubric is an add-on for Google Sheets. So you're gonna open up any spreadsheet and you'll be able to use the extensions menu to use GC Rubric. This is gonna put a template in your spreadsheet that you're gonna easily be able to import into Google Classroom. Now notice I didn't say export because this is so great about Google Classroom that you can import from Sheets. So, so long as you have a rubric in the right formatting, which is what GC Rubric really does for you. It helps you to get the right formatting, so it makes it really easy for you to put your rubrics into Google Classroom using Import from Sheets. Start with alicetaylor.com slash coded by Alice. This is the Google Workspace Marketplace where you're gonna be able to find all of my add-ons that I have officially approved by Google. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and scroll down and what you're looking for is GC Rubric by Alice Keeler. And there it is. You can see that it says GC Rubric and you're gonna go ahead and click on that and you're gonna to want to install. Now this uses no user data, no PII. It is safe for you to use and it is free. So go ahead and install GC Rubric by Alice Keeler. Start a new spreadsheet, any spreadsheet. So you're gonna use the extensions menu to access GC Rubric by Alice Keeler to set up your template for Google Sheets to put your rubric into Google Classroom. Start by naming your Google Sheets. Unlike Google Classroom, you're able to control the name of your rubric. In Google Classroom, when you add a rubric to an assignment, the rubric title is the assignment title, and that doesn't always make sense. I have a participation rubric, I have an essay rubric, I have a group work rubric, and I'm gonna use those rubrics over and over again. So I wanna name the spreadsheet the style of rubric so I can save it in my Google Drive in a folder for rubrics to make it really easy to add to any classroom, any assignment, and by naming it, I know which one that I'm adding. So I have named this one my essay rubric, and I'm gonna come up to the extensions menu, and I'm gonna look for GC Rubric by Alice Keeler. And you'll notice that you can show the sidebar, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And as a reminder, this collects no user data. It is totally safe for you to use. So you see here in the sidebar, it says GC Rubric, and you can create a scoring guide for a rubric. So what is the difference? So a scoring guide involves points, and a rubric is just for feedback, so you can tell students how they performed on each of the criteria. So let's go ahead and make a scoring guide. So I'm gonna click here, it says Create Scoring Guide in the sidebar. You can also come to GC Rubric, and you can see right up here that you can do Rubric or Scoring Template. So I'm gonna create the scoring guide, and all this is doing is creating a formatted spreadsheet in the right style for Google Classroom. In order to upload your spreadsheet with a rubric, it has to be exactly in a certain and particular format. So that's really all this helps you do is to get the right formatting in your spreadsheet, but it also does a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the sidebar, and you'll see that for my scoring guide that I have some default scores. You're not stuck with those. You certainly can change this to five, four, three, two, uh, one if you would like. You could also delete these. Do it on a four point scale. Four, three, two, one, zero. Um, yep, however you wanna do it. You are able to design and have as many criteria as you want. And speaking of criteria, you're gonna put over here each row's criteria. So I'm gonna say, uh, used a Google Doc. And your essay needs to be properly formatted.
added in the Google Doc and MLA style, right? So I'm able to give my criteria, my description of my criteria, and then for each of my rubrics, scores, I'm gonna be able to put a description in there if you would like to. They wrote it in stone. Okay, and so you'll notice what happened automatically is when I started the first row of criteria that another row has shown up. But where this is gonna save you time is you'll notice that the scores from the first row of criteria are gonna duplicate automatically down here. That's something you have to do manually when you do it in Google Classroom. So this is gonna make it a lot easier. So I'm gonna say that this has a rough, Draft, committed, rough draft, for feedback, uses, commas. And yes, it's gonna keep going. It just keeps giving me another row, so I'm ready to fill this out. Now you notice I have filled out the description for some of the criteria, but not for all of it. Now, the way a Google Classroom rubric works where you're importing from Google Sheets is you're just gonna pick it from Sheets, which means you don't have to do anything. Once you're done, you just go to Google Classroom and add the spreadsheet into the Google Classroom assignment. But, I have on here a very curious option. So when you come to GC rubric, it says finalize and download. Now this is a bit of a trick because of course you don't download Google Sheets, but when I finalize it, what it's gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and click this, finalize and download. It's gonna delete for me that last unused criteria because it's always adding one more criteria. And it says downloaded to Google Drive, but really it's just a reminder that you're gonna find this spreadsheet in Google Drive. So I'm just gonna close out of that, and then over here in Google Classroom, I see the option for rubric, and I just choose import from sheets. I just edited it, so it should be right here. There's my essay rubric, I'm gonna select it and add. Now this has imported my criteria, my descriptions, my categories, my points, made it so much faster to get this into Google Classroom. And because it's saved as a Google Sheet in my Google Drive, it's gonna be really easy for me to use this again in another assignment. <laughs>